Kumusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Bounce. Your host for tonight, Marky Mark, is back. I hope you guys are excited for tonight's episode. Over here on my left side, we got Ingrid. How are you feeling? Good. Thank you. Awesome. Over there on the other side of the court, we got Mr. James. How are you feeling there? I'm feeling good. Welcome back, bro. Awesome. I'm glad to have everybody here in the show. And our special guest for tonight, Jay Jerome. How are you feeling, bro? Oh, man. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome. Now we're going to throw it to James right away. What do we got, James? Uh, today's What the Fact, it goes to Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard was the last player to score 30 plus points and 30 plus rebounds back in 2018. Uh, he scored 32 points, 30 rebounds against the Brooklyn Nets. And the last one before that is Kevin Love. Kevin Love scored 31 points, 31 rebounds against the New York Knicks back in 2010. Nowadays, you hear him every, in every trade rumors, especially Blazers, with CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard. So his hometown is actually Oregon. Do you guys think he would fit in Trailblazers? I believe he does, vet-wise. I think they do need that championship pedigree from what we've had with, you know, how he was playing with Kyrie and LeBron. In with the Cleveland Cavaliers, so like now that they're not contenders for a championship, I feel like this might deem a good fit for him. Um, yeah, I would agree. I think that uh, the floor spacing that Kevin Love would open up for Dame and for CJ, and now even Melo uh, would be great. Hassan Whiteside is there doing his thing. Um, Nurkic is coming back maybe mid February, so they have another shot blocking big. And then Zach Collins is also injured coming back, and that's another big, he's young who can spread the floor too. So Adding another vet like Kevin Love would definitely, I think, work wonders for the rest of the team and opening up space on the court. I believe it is the missing piece for them. Yeah. Like they just need that. My take is how far can they take it? Because I feel like if you were to make a trade for a guy like Kevin Love's um, asset skills and, and the fact that he can stretch the floor, would you want a team that is for sure that's going to take them straight to a finals? Because I don't know how far Kevin Love addition into the Blazers can really take them. Because with a team like Boston or Miami, I feel like they have a better chance to really propel themselves into a championship contending team if they add a player like Kevin Love because the East is not as deep or not as competitive as the West teams. So I don't know if Kevin Love in general can, can, can generally propel a team like Blazers into the finals, whereas a team like Boston, a team like Miami, who can um, make a trade for Kevin Love, I feel like they have a better chance of really making that jump, making that leap, especially with teams in, in the West Coast, like Clippers, Los Angeles, Lakers, they're really up there. Um, well, the thing with that is like, the East, yeah, they look tougher now. I think the West is like, a, it's right now it's like a two team race. There's Lakers and Clippers. We kind of all kind of gathered that much. But I do think with the health of Zach Collins and Nurkic, those are two, you know, big perimeter, uh, sorry, rim def uh, defenders that they can get, which would hopefully slow down the penetration of LeBron from Lakers and Kawhi and Paul George, the Clippers. So I think that we haven't seen a healthy um, Blazers team. And you never know what could happen. Um, Lakers still got to get to the finals. They still got to be healthy. Teams in the East um, with Boston, you know, they still have things to work out with Gordon Hayward. Um, Raptors, they're looking real good right now. Um, and then the Bucks. You know, so I think anything can help. Portland in the West would, I think, still be the best fit for him. And that's where he wants to go. First choice back home. So, you know, I, I still would like him in Portland over the East. Yeah, I would agree with uh, Jay on that one, yeah, especially. Yeah. What do you get? What do you think, James? Uh, I think he would fit in Boston. Like uh, someone said, uh, Boston, because uh, that team is a system. They, ha they have a system. So it's moving the ball around. And I think Kevin Love is perfect for teams that have system. And um, if they trade Kevin Love to the Blazers, that means they have to trade all these players, their depth, and they don't have a lot of players. And they, that means they, can, they have to trade Simmons, who is a great sophomore player. And a lot of surprise, he, he surprised me this year. So speaking about surprise, like who do you guys think is the best surprising rookie this year? Oh, besides the fact that Kendrick Nunn's been killing it, it's a lot of, <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I think like, the workers this season felt more ready than uh, the past few years, of, of even the last rookies. year's uh, rookies. The Bash this season have been pretty good so far, Yeah. right? I mean, keep in mind, they've been put into teams where they need 
this kind of utilization of like these young, of a young core or like mm -hmm. developing into a young core kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, Zion is out of the picture of Rookie of the Year because he's not going to be playing until what next year, 2020. Yeah. So we, I, I don't know if you guys understood why Kendrick Nunn became undrafted due to the whole thing that happened with him being with like domestic violence, right? So. Oh, that I didn't know. That oh, you yeah. did not know. Well, yeah. not really a fun fact, but the reason why he is undrafted because due to he had to transfer colleges based on what happened. So it was, it was based on the domestic violence. So now my question to you guys now is, based on his kind of like background, would you still accept him as the player he is today? And drafted, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, like everybody deserves a second chance. Um, mm -hmm. They're young, things happen. Um, in no way am I excusing it or giving that okay. But you know, people are young, things happen, mistakes are made. It's all about, you know, how you come back from that. And if you can capitalize on opportunity, and he got one and we see how, what he's doing with this whole song. It's like, you can't deny that raw exactly. talent that he has. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. Yeah. And it's just the fact to see it on the team that's contending in the playoffs. Yeah. He's an important player. He's not just kind yeah. of a rookie putting in empty stats. Yeah. Right? He's actually putting numbers and he's making a team better. Literally kicked off a player like Dragic, Dragic. <laughs> who had an, a great summer yeah. playing for Slovenia. Yeah. So, it's not like he's taking off like a player that's getting washed up. Like he's literally taking off a player that's just got a great season and was a starter point guard and a veteran point guard, established point guard in the league. Yeah. So to do that and, and the fact that nobody knew where he was coming from, everybody was all excited about Ken, um, RJ Barrett, yeah. uh, excited about John ja Moran, yeah. excited about Zion Williams. Yeah. Like that's crazy. And also players like, you know, Ray Hakimura, and then also like Eric Pascal, like where did these guys come from? The, you know. Yeah, see, because like the reason why Eric Pascal has to had had to step up, right, mm. in regards to you know Draymond Green being gone, you know Steph Curry being down and everything. Are you a Golden State fan by any chance? Because you said we <laughs> when I, you I said what? you lost Kevin Durant. I, I, let, so. I, let slip. I am. Um, the season's been super, it's been, super, yeah. super rough. Um, I'm honestly looking forward to next year and see what we can do, but yeah, it's a little bit of a So what's your take on Eric get, then? A, a I, I like Eric him. Uh, you know, I, I liked him coming out. He was a second round pick. Yeah. Um, funny, I was watching the draft and I'm like, get Bull Bull, get Bull Bull, oh my God. <laughs> get Bull Bull. And then we passed on him and I'm like, dang. Yeah. And then we got Eric and I'm like, okay, let's see what he can do. He was like, I called him a young Draymond 2.0, mm -hmm. but the way he's came, come in and stepped up with Obviously, Draymond being in and out the lineup, Steph going down early, and him feeling, you know, almost Draymond's void. He can yeah. shoot, dribble. He reminds pass me a of bit. how Maurice Spates was for them, but yeah. a better, but like a better, a better version, a better version of Maurice Spates. Yeah, can score, doesn't really play defense as well as like you know. But I think he can develop that with yeah. Draymond Green. Yeah, I think right? when we have a healthy team, or when State has a healthy team, and you know, you see him around Steph, and like I said, opens the court and, and get him around some players that are actually going to be there long term. Then we can see how good he can really be in, uh, in going forward. Mm, I agree. Yeah. James, right, how let me, let me add something, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Before ended we go up. to break, I want to add something. Yeah, I, I, um, I ended up, James. <laughs> um, <laughs> say, I want to give a shout out to Matisse Thibault because this guy has been balling out. He's fifth in defensive rating, second in steals percentage, and he's fifth in three point percentage. And with defensive rating, he's top five. So he's fifth, right? And only on that top five, it's Giannis, Davis, Embiid, and McGee. So that's right there. Like you, That's the thing that you don't see in stats-wise and all that stuff. But I want to give him a shout-out because he's actually getting playing time. He's only getting like 17 minutes per game. And What's his usage anyways? Like... And that's my boy, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, back to you, Mark. Well, that's all we got for What's Up in the NBA, but stay tuned back because when we come back, all about the Raptors.